Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm the host, and I'm here with God. I was nine of my days. Well, when Jonas can't talk, and I'm here on the sticks. We're playing. We're playing monster hunting. Are you hunting all the monsters now? I'm gonna hunt them up. Mmm, you the hunter boy. Wait, are we not attacking this guy? Which boy are we attacking? Oh, he see. already found the other boy. Oh, we're going after Ooh, the other boy. Oh, look at boy. this big boy. No, 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 no. We're going after... Oh, wait. The other boy's this way. All right. Yeah, okay, yeah. No, let, let's go for this boy. Yeah. Come on. We'll go for this boy. We got to do both of them anyway. We got two boys we're doing. Oh, on there's, it's one. like a dual mission? Yeah, but this one is easier to kill. He's quick. He's a quick kill, Jonas. You just walk up behind <laughs> just him. Just slap him in the butt cheeks and he... <laughs> What? <laughs> he falls over. Is that usually how you end somebody's life, Jonas? <laughs> yeah, dude. You slap, slap dudes on the butt cheeks, dude? No, no, not to kill them. <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, I mean nothing. You sports. see, this is this, I mean sports. This sports is, football. This is how we end up with those hot takes. This is how we end up with my, with, with my prank joke. Because when you're not on the sticks, your brain is just like, I gotta say something. <laughs> you can't, you can't, you're not focused enough, and you're just like firing all these synapses out there. Gotta say something, <laughs> gotta be funny, let's get the jokes on, funny man. <laughs> <laughs> what am I, clown, am I here to make you laugh? <laughs> I slap dudes in the butt. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. Brain, Dude, where'd that come from? That thing looks like Toucan Sam, kind of. Uh, Yeah, this is, this is the guy, I, I like him, man, he's cute. Looks like a chicken, dude. It kind of does look like a chicken. It's Kulu, it's Kulu Yaku. Kulu Yaku. What does he do? Uh, he grabs a rock or oh. an egg out of the ground and tries to smash you with it, dude. Because he's a little cute boy. Aww. Oh, and I just smacked him. I want to knock that dead? freaking thing oh. off your head. No, he's not dead What does yet. he give you to build super things with? Uh, I mean, I think he has a weapon. He has armor. All all enemies have armor sets, and they all do different things. And you need, like I said, pieces of all the monsters in order to uh, to build their armor sets. So it's just it's right, right, it's, it's, right. It's, it's, it's a game. Like, what is like? I guess okay. I get that about the game. But what is like the trajectory of like the hierarchy? Of the game? Like, what is your what do you what's the point? How do you win? There's a uh, tears to the monsters and they get more and more difficult and essentially you just want to like uh maximize your uh you want it's a lot of like just maximizing your set because you don't really gain levels your character pretty much stays at a base the base level okay but you build stronger gear Oh, okay. So you basically like get better gear instead of actually leveling your character yeah. for new skills, etc. Yeah, it's a hundred percent. Yeah, there's no skills. Really. So you're just basically like you start out as like a man or woman in this universe, and you try to become the ultimate strongest thing where you can kill anything in the entire. Uh, universe. yeah. There, I mean, there is a story, but the truth behind the game is really just more about uh, coming in here, knocking down some monsters with your with your bros, dude, broing it out, dude, getting all bro like and gotcha. then, you know. Gotcha. Yeah, so there's not really like so the story's kind of just like, eh. it's just there to like help add. <laughs> dude, I'm, not, I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> pay attention to the story at all. Oh, it's like dude. Destiny One. <laughs> yeah, and that's what that's why I said this is like it's like Destiny basically. Yeah, there's, there's no, yeah, you fight the same bosses looking for what that one gun, right? right. How many times do we look for that Galahorn before we got it? Right, dude? exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's just like any other so, game, like Borderlands and yeah. such. It's just like you boss farm farm things basically it's basically a giant time killer except this is this is all bosses basically this is like obviously this is a low level boss we got to fight that that tyrannosaurus next he's uh, a he's a higher level boss this boss is already dead we, or actually we're gonna catch it ooh, you're gonna, he you're locked gonna. it up all right so yeah we got this boss done boom easy peasy right. now we gotta go fight the harder guy is that the guy with the, that guy over there uh, not the antler jackalope, but the T-Rex. Oh, man. That's Angie, dude. What does Angie do? That's Angie, man. Uh, she's a T-Rex that shoots flyers. Fire, flyers, fire sometimes. She shoots out the Philadelphia Flyers players from NHL. That would be great, dude. All of a sudden, there's just guys with hockey sticks coming at you. Dude, how lucky. What season of sports is not in session right now? Is it baseball that isn't happening? Everything. No, I mean, but what would be going on? 
Oh, right really now, cool. hockey, NBA, and uh, XFL. No, XFL no. had to suspend their no. first season ever. No, what wouldn't be going? What, 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 see, what is out of season right now? NFL and MLB. NFL and MLB. How but MLB is about was supposed to start like now, but they postponed oh, it because yeah, spring training was about to start. It starts at the beginning of April. Oh, oh so they're not even doing spring training. I don't think they are now. Still, man, they're pretty fortunate that uh, their seasons are not <laughs> going on during this. Cause, no, that's cause, asking to spread it across everywhere. Bad. I wonder if they're gonna like. What are they gonna do with the seasons? Are they gonna just like start playing late? Is this gonna change the schedule for like what, the foreseeable what future? What they said is, as of right now, they're postponed. Mm -hmm. But it's entirely possible that it'll get to the point where they just say we can just cancel it and start over next year. Just cancel the whole season. They, they canceled the MLB season in like 94 due to a player strike, so they will cancel the season. Oh, okay. Yeah, like it, it just sucks because it's just like there's no champion, there's no like, it's kind Ridiculous. of a loss here. Yeah. There's way too much monster meat over here, man. Wow. I need to... Well, uh, I don't know, man. Still, like I said, that's. Uh, I assume that's money out of the players' pockets. Oh, yeah. Well, they were saying that some of the NBA players get sucked large bonuses that are based on games played. Yeah. As of right now, they're under postponed, but there's, like, provisions that, like, um, they make less money based on uh, every game yeah. that's canceled because it usually doesn't happen. Yeah. So it's, like, a thing in the collective bargaining. They are saying something that, like, um, like, for, like, a rookie like they have to like are gonna have to like pay back like twenty five thousand dollars a game or something or like LeBron James could be have to pay back like almost like five hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, game. see that's the thing. He knocked me off, dude. I'm trash. Yeah, like he could end up because but that's how they wrote their contract because there's how often were games canceled? There's maybe Never. one. You know what I mean? Like if they had to cancel like sixty games, dude, that's bad. Yeah. But it's uh, but it could. I think it's something else too that it ultimately can like, it messes with like the sa the luxury tax and all that. It could make the salary cap lower and like so it could end up like making it where they just aren't making as much money, in j for years because it like it, it adjusts the way they get paid or something. Oh, like I read an article and I didn't completely understand because it was like I don't understand how the salary cap in that ish works. Anyways, I mean the general gist, but not the technicality of it. Who knows, man. We'll see. It's just weird, dude. Like, it's well, it's crazy because the longer that everything gets locked down, the weirder, the we the farther away the world will ever be to getting back to the way it was before. Mm -hmm. Before it happened, because like September 11th, you don't even remember what the world was like before that. Uh, no. Do I not? Well, I'm pretty sure. Oh. I, I guess it was just easier to get into places, man. Yeah. Right, and like there wasn't as much security. And like the sad fact about it is like if this, if like say like for example, they shut down the U.S. for six weeks. They a shut ton down of small the US businesses are going to close, dude. They can't afford to not have yeah, six they've weeks been, of income. They've been talking about that. They're saying this is a good deal, and it's amazing like how the the country. It's like the country can't take a a month off. The country can't go on vacation at all. Right. <laughs> Not all at once. <laughs> yeah, but come on, man. Could you yeah, imagine? It just shows how bad of a situation, like, financially, like, the citizens of our country. Even though we're a first world country and we have a lot of things that, like, other countries don't have, we are in a good spot financially to be, you know what I mean? Like, I didn't realize America was living paycheck to paycheck. That's all I'm saying, all right? Even businesses. Yeah. So, like, basically what will happen is a ton of small businesses will close. There will be a ton of people in poverty. The housing the housing market will crash because people can't pay their loans. Oh. And all that will be left will be, will be Walmart and Target and CBS. Yep. Because yep. they're the corporations that can take that sort of hit. And not a lot of companies are doing that whole forgiveness thing or, like, you right. know, who's gonna, how are you going to pay your rent if you can't go to work? Right. Oh, man. Yep, that's it. And it's like, like I said, America can't take a, a month off, dude. It can't. Right. Well, yeah, they were saying like, you know, that I was watching some something clip somewhere and it said something like there's an analyst on there talking about the economy. And he said that he was like, the sad truth about is like most Americans, if they had, if they had a bill of $400 unexpected come up, they couldn't pay it. Wow. You know what I mean? And that's, I mean, wow. yeah, whether it's via credit, via savings, you know. Wow. That's true, man. That's, I've been there. Right. And $400, like, there. isn't a lot of money <laughs> in the big picture. Yeah, I think that's the whole point. <laughs> well, right. well, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I mean, that's, that's like, yeah. Yeah, it's just to show that, like, but I think a lot of that is self 
induced because it's a lot of people don't live within their means. They want everything they want, whether they nah, realistically man. should have it or not. Nah, them dudes, was, they wasn't paying me back when I was young. My pay has steadily increased the older I get, which I think is bull crap to a certain extent, man. You know dang well that an entry level at at any job is not going to make as much as an older person who is an entry level as well. I don't know why that is, but I mean, I, I guess until you prove yourself. Yeah, I think it's just like <laughs> as you make but, money, like they recognize like, oh, you've made this much money before. That's that's true. They do. They do use your uh, your uh, salaries past or your um, what do you call that allowances, Jonas. What do they call your wages? Yeah, wages. Yeah. Wage history. Yeah, right. Like if you made like 75K at a job and All tried right. to go get a new job and they tried to pay you like 50. You're going to be like, dude, I was making 75K to do this job before. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, you know, it's like it's 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 just like a. But if you're making 10 bucks an hour forever, those are the jo you're going to be making 10 bucks. You know what I mean? It's like that's. <laughs> I'm sorry. I hit like five times in a row. Just, I hate it. I know, dude. I uh, but scary. I know. It's, dude, I never. I, I don't know. I don't know. I felt like I was making. Maybe it's because I'm a man in America or something, because, like, men make a lot, right? I guess, man. I feel like I've always got paid more than other people in my industry. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, you do, uh, I mean, you are in an industry where, like, men are the rare, more rare. Yeah. There are way less men in your field than women. <laughs> so, hey, trust me, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's, uh, <laughs> I know that, big guy. Yeah, dude. I don't know, man. It's just I. How many it's like times it's I like I would hate to see them shut everything down, but I think it's gonna happen. I think basically the whole world is gonna go on like a two-month really? leave of absence, and yeah. it's gonna be interesting, man. Uh, and like, all right. So Jonas, there's still people out there. Yeah. Who are like. Uh, they keep this weird energy about like not being concerned about this coronavirus. Yeah, I'm like, starting to feel like they should stop that thought. Like, uh, like they're still I going out think, to the club. They're still like, <laughs> like when they decide to close down an entire country, <laughs> Jonas. Like it, it's something bad, man. It's like the the president never got on the news and started talking about H1N1. Not at least to this extent. We're, we're closing down borders. Right, right. Yeah, we're, we're, we're not letting anyone travel into our country or travel out of our country or, like, whatever. Right? Yeah, man. It's, and it's we're not the only up. country doing that. Like, almost every country is doing that. Yeah. And whole countries in Europe are shutting down. So, it's not, it's not a big joke that the world is playing against you to make you feel like everybody's a, a vagina now because they're, they're afraid to get sick. No, that's some real ish going There's on. There's like a real issue going on In fact, on out there. I yeah. would be, I would, to feed into your 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 thoughts of, uh, I'm talking to the straw man, the person who doesn't exist, who I feel like has these views, of course. Right, 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 right. Uh, I feel like you should realize is that your, your sense of, uh, what do you call that, conspiracy should tell you that there's probably some name telling us about this freaking virus, and they're taking right. these steps. That's where you should let your conspiracy thoughts go. Exactly, because the way they're describing it, I don't know how we win. I did nothing that entire fight. The way they're describing it sounds like it's not that bad. Yeah, he has it, but they're going to be fine. And not that many people are dying. Not that many people are catching it. It's real underplayed. But yet they're taking way extreme precautions at this point. Right. You aren't. Right. When was the last time any country shut the whole country down? Exactly. For anything. For you. Yeah, for the flu. It's just like the flu. Man. There's something going on. Right. There's something. Yeah, dude. Exactly. The World Health Organization wouldn't be like, hey. And it's this not, is real bad. Exactly. It's not just to keep Bernie out of office, right? All right? And the it's world. Not. Well, and the, and the thing you got to realize is the World Health Organization is a world council. Oh, it's not like it's not just like our council. So, anyways, that is all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you've already Price done that. Jewel. Go to your mama's house and cook up some biscuits for her because she's hungry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> for Jonas. TNT Dynamite. Catch you on the next one. We five oh one.